The University of Detroit Mercy presents another brand new episode of Ask the Professor, the radio show on which you match wits with the University of Detroit Mercy professors in an unrehearsed session of questions and answers. Today's program was recorded using Zoom video conferencing technology. The University Tower Chimes ring in another session of Ask the Professor, the show on which you match wits with University of Detroit Mercy professors in an unrehearsed session of questions and answers. I'm your host, Matt Mayo, and let me introduce to you our panel for today. I'm going this way today. It's Professor Dan Maggio. Oh, hi, Matt. I'm first. How's it Honored. going, Dan? Um, I survived another week. <laughs> Dan, Dan was not ready to be first, apparently. Oh yeah, but I, I am. I'm, I'm always. I'm always ready. Um, we, we we don't eat five minutes prior to, right, Dan? Exactly. exactly. He's always first in our hearts. Yes. So. Another crazy week. Yeah. My curling season came to a screeching halt after three losses on three Aww. league nights that lost out of contention so that's too bad i'll that's be watching from the glass oh what did you do did you throw the last uh no, we lost <laughs> i didn't do anything it was a team effort <laughs> well it, it was probably okay till you went overhand with the last throw right yeah that's it we'll do that with a 42 pound stone <laughs> Can't do Dan, that. I was thinking of you last night because it was an all new episode of Under the Radar Michigan. They were up in the way, way west UP in Copper Country. Yeah. And they have the Copper Country Curling Club. Yeah, yeah, and I yeah. just love this historic building. Are you ready, professors? Completely no HVAC. So they just open the doors and let Mother Nature take care of keeping the, ice, the ice frozen. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. <laughs> He said it was 14 degrees Fahrenheit in the building. <laughs> wow. It's a little colder than it usually is. Usually it's about 35, 40. Right, exactly. So great. Continuing around the horn, Professor Beth Oljar is here with us. Hey, Matt. Did you have a good week? Dan said it was a wild week. Uh, yeah, it was a little wild. I had about $1,500 worth of plumbing done in my house. And the result was that I now have a big hole in my kitchen ceiling because they had to access the master bath Oh no! that way. And of course the plumbers have no responsibility for the hole. So I'm looking at drywall and I, but we I, I, wanted I, I, to change the paint and we don't like the light fixtures. So we're going to kind of combine it. And I got the number from Dave of his student. That's the uh, contractor, cause right. quasi contractor, but Dan, I yep. wanted to tell you, I found, I kid you not, a little Christmas ornament that's a curling stone. Yeah, I oh. have it in my cart at Amazon. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, Beth, was this uh, hopefully not emergency based? It was more uh, just upgrade based. Uh, yeah, we had a the you know bathroom drain that was clogged and wouldn't drain no matter how much liquid plumber i poured into it so wow. um and when he showed me the pipe it seemed like it was both clogged and corroding at the same time yeah. so and we'd had to do uh some work in the other bathroom but we now have two perfectly functioning showers so nice well that works good. very very nice pipes i swear beth it's like uh the heart attack of a house, you know, that when there's not a lot of blood getting through, you get a infarction. And when your house has those pipes, these houses, the house you're in, I mean, that's a hundred year old house. It's gotta be. Um, the It was built in 1940, but okay. the whole back half was added in 1987. Right. Okay. On, okay. Yeah. So it was in the old part of the house that it had done in the original bathroom with sure. the original tile. So sure. Yeah. Well, fun. Speaking of a uh, home improvement, now that's a segue because I know with spring weather coming to Michigan, uh, Professor Dave Chow and his wife Marcy are getting ready oh. for the big one. Oh, pleasure to be here. And if I could just crowdsource some extra money, oh, <laughs> it's going to be brutal. I just got a call the other day. We won't have a patio door for another, was it four months possibly? That sounds about right. Four yeah. months for a door? I mean, what am I going to do? Put up a shower curtain out there? I mean, well, but you're building a three season. So, uh -huh. they, so presumably they're cutting a new door or doing something to the yeah, door into your house. Yeah. No, there's actually an, an outside door that they got to, they got to find one. That's all. 
Oh, okay. And yeah. the closest one that the guy can find right about now is up in Merrill, Wisconsin. See, this is where it is right now, Dave. The Mayo family does not have the fridge we ordered for our new house. We've got this half-size club fridge where if I'm standing at full height and I open the main door from my eye angle, I can't see any part of the <laughs> internal part of the fridge except for the door. So, oh, my God. They're, so they're our, all like, we can't yeah. get you this until June. I mean, that's just the yeah. bottom line right now. So, so just go to Home Depot or Best Buy and mm-hmm. get one. They can't get one either. Yeah, That's I was going to say, Beth, it's, okay. yeah, I mean, I just want a simple door. And the guy says, yeah, I actually thought about, you know, because Marcy's aunt and uncle, they're moving out to Wisconsin. I'm thinking, hey, maybe I can drive <laughs> out there and drive one back. I mean, I, I thought about it. Yeah, sure. I bet. I you mean, did. it's like, you know, I mean, I'm scrambling to find a door. I mean, a simple door. Well, Too you know, there's a lake in the way. Drew yeah. and I have been planning to put a um, Union Jack rug in our dining room. Okay. Which has that that red tinted window and the one that I want, they keep telling me it's not going to be in stock until first March and then April and then May. So I guess, you know, everything. Mind you, Beth, they didn't tell you what year either. So (laughs) no, it said 2022. So that's a start. That's a start. (laughs) All right. That, that helps. Continuing around the horn. Professor Stephen Manning is here. Good to see you, Stephen. Hello. Sorry. I missed last week. That's all right. It's, it's, Back and forth with you and Heather. It's all right. Yeah, I had tech problems last week. I could had problems with the Zoom. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. Yeah. The Zoom. Yep. And today I think uh, Heather is uh, pretty busy, right? So she's Zooming on something else. Yes. Yeah. There's only so much. An- another Provo dean, janitor. What's she inter- you know. dean It's either the dean yeah. search or the English dean. department search. One of the, yeah. yeah. Uh, no, it's neither of those. The deal oh. ended this morning. Oh, <gasps> wonderful. And, um, oh, we were told that there may be an announcement today. Oh, okay. I, well, last most, week didn't. Wait a minute. On April Fool's Day, though? Most of it was most of it was leaked in the VN in yesterday's oh. issue of the VN. Oh, really? Oh, oh wait, wait to scoop VN. Way to go. It probably <laughs> violates some confidentiality agreements, but, you know, um, <laughs> who, am I, who am I to say? <laughs> Hilarious. That, that, Wow. That's at the that's at the end, depending on how quickly the administration works from this point on. I think we can all insert our own joke into the end of that sentence. <laughs> <laughs> well, apparently the president, the president is in New Orleans for the uh, the Final Four basketball, NCAA basketball. Oh, wow! <laughs> well, why not? Avoid, also- avoid the tornadoes. That's all I got to say. Yeah. Of course, last but most certainly not least. Uh, Professor James Balfour Tubbs is also joining us today. Oh, definitely least. How are you doing, Matt? <laughs> <laughs> How's it going, Jim? Good, good, except I'm working on my taxes. Yeah, yeah, that sort of stinks. It's that time of year, unfortunately. It's uh um it's a pretty crazy world out there that I think the last four presidents now, just because you know it's a figurehead have talked about redoing the tax code. And I feel like that newsprint, everything you need to know about taxes that I see at my tax person, that thing gets twice as thick every year that I go back. And I'm like, when is someone going to put their foot down and redo the tax code? Oh my gosh. What well, happened to the honor system? <laughs> oh, oops. <laughs> well, because honest- redo- yeah, redoing the tax code might mean making corporations and rich people actually pay taxes. Oh, that's that a problem. I suspect that would be a problem. For that's a problem, right? Some. Yeah, Jeff Bezos, you know, he couldn't bear to no. pay taxes for Amazon. What, what, you mean drop from a billionaire only to, to be a multimillionaire? <laughs> Gosh forbid. The pain, the suffering, <laughs> the hardship. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> what are you finding with those taxes, Jim? Uh, well, it's just kind of complicated because like, well, I told you that the TIAA disbursements are quite complicated yes. uh, or just take a lot of typing to put in all that information. But I, I owned and have been renting out a second right. condo for That's like right. 25 years now. And I rented it for part of the year and then sold it in October. Mm-hmm. So I had to go through all of the stuff about a sale as well as all the stuff about the rental. Ugh. my 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 and you're yeah. doing your taxes on your own you don't have somebody yeah. do it yeah i, I download the h&r block software i was gonna say that's if cool. you need it if you need a decent accountant mine's not too far from you so 
That's pretty well, cool. That may be my backup. <laughs> he he's kept he's kept me on a prison orange for 29 years. Oh, good. <laughs> you know I mean? And that's well, the kind of bar you want to have, you know. Yeah, exactly. Yep, yep, Keeps yep, you yep. out of jail. <laughs> Well, or you know, when, it asks you, when it asks you how much depreciation you've claimed, that takes you have to go back and do a lot of digging to find yeah, that out. Yeah, you do. That is a problem that I like personally to throw a little bit of money at right there, Jim. So my my non-existent hat off to you. That's that's tough stuff right there. Frankly, mm -hmm. folks, this is a program you can send us questions regarding anything, and it's been a while since we've had that classic uh, tax based. Uh, problem set that someone sent us. If you uh, stump the panel, of course, you win one of our prizes. And if you don't stump the panel, you win a prize. You can send us the questions in a number of ways. You can email us at atp at udmrc.edu. Find us on Facebook and Instagram or listen on your favorite smart speaker by asking it to play Ask the Professor at University of Detroit Mercy. Dear Ask the professor panelists, I'm sure that many of the profs have earned their doctorates. So I've included a short list of questions about docs. My sincere hope is that this list will be as challenging and spur the usual fun banter among the panelists. You know, they do this a lot. I'll defer to Matt as to what he deems worthy of a passing <laughs> grade. I mean, that's changed during the pandemic, you know? So, uh, of course, this is regards uh, Julie Elder and the elders in Poughkeepsie, New York. So let's see what we can do with this questions about uh, um, docs here. I'll wait and do what I usually do with my students and determine the rubric after the grade is in. <laughs> what docs as in like D-O-C-K-S or? Docs as in D-O-C-S. Questions about doctors. Oh, okay, gotcha. Okay. And uh, we're going to stretch that definition just about as far as it'll go with our very first question. Can you name any three of the five characters who were doctors on the Muppet Show, Bunsen Honeydew. Bunsen Honeydew for sure. Uh, wasn't there? Uh, was it? Wasn't there a? Was it Ralph the dog? Was in some? Wasn't he in some? Because I remember was it was it Gladys or whoever the the one of the players on Doctor Teeth's. You know, band was the nurse. I'm trying to remember that one. You're 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 pretty close. I mean, you've got everything but the doctor's name. Uh, Ralph the dog. Every once in a while, would dress up with the reflector. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Red and play a doctor. He was called Doctor Bob for whatever okay. reason. So I mean, that's that's good. One more, yeah. and we're good. And um, frankly, I don't. I haven't heard um, what I think is the most obvious one yet. Doctor. Oh, Doctor Teeth. Doctor Teeth. Yes, Doctor oh. Teeth is the leader of the. Electric Mayhem Band, yeah, yes, yep. the band. So who I, are the others? Well, that's not I, real. He wasn't a real doctor. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm going to go out on a limb and say I think that that degree wasn't okay. real. Um, so honorary, the, very, very, uh, not very well known. There was a witch doctor character who basically was only in one sketch in one episode. I mean, that's way off the the charts. But Doctor Julius Strangepork was one of the background characters from the pigs in space oh, segment. Oh. So, you know, we, we would expect you to know that one. That's a great name. What a great name. <laughs> Dr. Julius Strange. Oh, dear Lord. <laughs> what was the name of the doc portrayed by Leslie Nielsen from the movie Airplane? Don't call him Shirley. I know that. <laughs> uh, Pick the wrong day to sn stop sniffing glue. No, sure that, no, that was Lloyd or Bridges. Was that Lloyd Bridges? That that Lloyd that? Bridges. Police chief. Yeah. Doctor. I'm proud, proud to announce that every single time, even my youngest son at nine years old, like grabs his glass and spills it on his face. He always looks at Leslie or I and says, I have a drinking problem. <laughs> <laughs> Thank um, you, Airplane. Uh, oh, what was I don't even know that I can recall it. It's that. tough. Being named. It's tough. It, this one, it, it, this it, one it, is it, actually uh, tough. Uh, it's doctor. It's, it's a joke, though. It's Dr. Nauseous or something like that. I thought it sounded something like Romanian or something like that. I'm trying to remember. It does start with the letter R. It does oh. start with the letter R. Yeah. It says here that Leslie Nielsen played Dr. Rumac. And I think there was one play on words beth like you were saying where they went back and forth rumac tarmac like something right. like that you know but yeah Jeez, anyway. i own that movie i should just watch it again 
and but again about, and again yeah how about an iconic character who you don't really care what their name is like but we remembered everything else about yep, that, yep, that's yep. kind of cool right who played uh dr Sidney friedman on mash alan arbus Ellen Arbus mm-hmm. was the name of the actor. Yes, that is right. I remember the character as soon mm-hmm. as you mm-hmm. announced him. I just couldn't figure yeah, the could see his face. Name. Couldn't call yeah, his name. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and Me he too. was married to uh, the photographer, Diane Arbus. So. Mm. Oh, oh okay. In the Marvel comics, you better call up uh, Drew for this one, um, Beth. Uh, from what country does Victor Von Doom, a.k.a. Dr. Doom, hail from? Uh, is it mean like uh, Romanian or no, no, um, um, Hungarian? It's, or sadly, it's, Lat- it's made up. Yeah. Uh, well, that's no fun. If it's Latveria? a made up country. Bulgaria. The, yeah, it's Latveria. Latveria. Yeah. Latveria. Latveria. Okay. Yeah. Where everyone is happy. Yet out of if Drew were here, yeah, that would have been He was in the Fantastic Four first movie. Yeah, but yeah. the you know the Fantastic Four movies weren't exactly stellar. Marvel Cinema. So, yeah. Yeah. They're redoing them. We'll see what happens. Again, for Again. a third time. <laughs> I but didn't no, realize we... that they were, so the Fantastic Four is Marvel. I lose yeah. track. Yeah, I'm trying tough. to get through the Marvel series you know, now, and I've gotten halfway through, and I'm not sure Drew, I can survive. Drew has been helpful in the lists, in providing lists of all the Yeah, the, the Disney Marvel Plus movies. app also guides you through. That's right. Um, oh, cool. Nice. Yeah. Oh, you just leave out the bad movies. Uh, right. Okay. The, the don't watch the new Morbius movie. It. Uh, yeah. Gonna... Yeah. The reviews were not good about that. No, oh, they were not. Uh, which of the Doctor Who actors had the longest run as the Tom Doctor? Baker. Yeah, Tom Baker. Now for the bonus point, Dan. Just let's do this. How many years? I don't need to know the years. I think he's How seven, many years? I think he was seven years. It was seven years as the doctor. That's right. Very good. My favorite. Oh, Dan. Yeah, Dan. 74 to 81. 74 wow. to 81. This is an awesome bio of a fictional character doctor. This, quote, simple country doctor was born in Atlanta, attended the University of Mississippi, had a father named David, and rose up within the ranks to become almost an admiral. The actor that got to portray this doctor supposedly got the role because his hair reminded a producer like JFK's hair. Who is the fictional doctor bio that we're giving? JFK hair? The actor that played this role, they said, your hair looks a lot like JFK's hair, so we're going to hire you. Was it? Great. Uh, Richard, Dr. Kildare? Is it Richard no, Chamberlain? That's that's good. That's actually a really good guess, though, because what, they're going what, for the hair. <laughs> what else is during the 60s? Yeah. Yeah, Ben so, Casey would be a good guess. Mm-hmm. No. Nope, any, nope. any of them from Emergency? Nope, not from Emergency. I could Marcus give a Welby? Clue, yeah, but Marcus it'll give Welby it just, just totally away. Um, no, it wasn't Marcus Welby either. Mm-mm. Wait, okay. So he's a simple country doctor from and almost Atlanta. became an admiral? Almost became an admiral. This is the fictional biography, of course. Admiral. Uh, the best I can do without uh, giving completely away is two people on this current Zoom are going to really kick themselves <laughs> when they hear me say who it is. Uh-oh. I'm, I'm, am I one of the two? Possibly. Oh, no. Okay, this oh. is getting painful. Uh, oh, I'm sorry tell me about it. Or it you will know. be painful if I have to kick myself. I'm sure I'm one this, of the two. This is like Canadian water torture. No, you know oh. what this is? That is the fictional character biography of Dr. Leonard McCoy from Star Trek. Oh, no. Bones. Oh, geez. Oh, bones. Oh, yeah. Bones. Bones. That's it. Um, you sure look like JFK. DeForest Kelly hair. It yeah. really did. It's got a JFK. Yeah. Thing going on. You could have said as a clue, I lost everything but my bones in that divorce. That's right. That's that right. would have been a clue. We'll see. <laughs> hey, we'll see what happens when they do Star Trek four with Carl Urban. I don't know if you've heard the controversy. He's amazing. Yeah. yeah. But the controversy, though, he's sporting a beard in his latest series right about now. Oh, I see. I see. And they're also going to be shooting at the same time. I think he's shooting in Australia. Mm-hmm. So how is he going to take the beard off, put it back on? Take the, you know, he's going to be in for... Could be interesting. It's going to be some CG or lots of shaving and uh, prosthetics. 
Hey, professors, there were two doctors that were main, essentially main characters from Bram Stoker's Dracula. What were their names? Um, Van Helsing. Van Helsing. Polidori. No, I actually don't have that here, Jim. Uh, I've got wasn't Van Helsing. It wasn't Renfield. He was a... Uh, no, he was a no it's, the guy who, it's the guy who ran the um, asylum that Renfield was committed to. I think that that's where this is going. Jack... Is that right? No. It's John. I'm giving you partial credit. And the last name starts with the letter S. Smith? No. No, good guess. <laughs> That's too obvious. How about um, the purchase of Alaska? Seward. Seward. John Seward is what it says here. I'm claiming partial credit on that. He was Victor <laughs> Frankenstein's friend. There we go. What is the name of the doctor in the Robert Louis Stevenson classic, Treasure Island. And let me just say, one fairly weekly panelist is going to really kill herself when she hears that this clue came up, finally. Why? But so, wait a minute, so when she is going to lo- lose her mind? She's going to lose her mind when she hears that we had this question and she wasn't here because this is Probably the only Heather. time. Is it Heather or Mara or Kendra, Diane? It's not Dr. Johnny M- Mattress or anything like that. Is no, it, I mean? it is not Dr. Oh, Johnny. okay. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> nobody remembers Robert Louis Stevenson, huh? I haven't read I don't him. Remember the doctor? Mm-hmm. I, yeah, I was gonna say there's a doctor. It's in not it? Dr. Jekyll. I mean, nope. that's a different yeah. book. That was nope. another book. No, wow. it was. Uh, his name is Dr. David Livesey. Is his name? Oh, yeah. oh, oh, no oh, oh, oh now Mar- I get it. Oh, oh Mara's no. gonna lose it. Yep. yep. Is it spelled the same? It actually isn't. It's an S instead of a Z. 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 Yeah. Uh, They they, they changed that Ellis Island. What can we say? That's right. We've already heard another doctor on this list who had the same first name as the very first James Bond movie. Dr. No's first name is. Oh, boy. Uh, Same first name as the main doctor character on The Simpsons. Couldn't help myself. Sorry. That's not going to help. Oh, um, not, not, not Dr. Nick. Not Dr. Um, Nick, no. Dr. So Hibbert's we, first name is the same. Oh, what is Dr. Hibbert's first name? Todd? Mm-mm, mm-mm. <laughs> no, so it, That's good we, want, we want Dr. No's first name? Yes, it's a very stately name. It starts with the letter J. Oh, I was going to say Tiberius, but no, mm-hmm. that's not it. So. Jeremiah? Uh, Baker? Yeah. Julius? It's Julius, yeah, Julius No. no. Oh. So I don't have to finish that text to Drew then. <laughs> hey, what's going on here? You should just bring him up. Yeah, really. I should. I know. We get, get a twofer on the Zoom. No kidding. Which two docs were clearly regulars on the TV show Cheers? Oh, um, um, Fraser Crane. Fraser Crane. And who is his? Uh, and her, and his and uh, ex-wife. His- or his, yeah. his love interest, not his ex-wife. He knew Newark's Newark. character. He be New Earth. Yeah. Uh, what was her name? I, she was Ice Princess. Is that what they called? Yeah, her? Um, <laughs> or something like that. Who oh, had the biggest crush on her? What is, I what cannot her believe name? that um, you can't generate her at least her first name. Um, uh, Lilith, isn't Lilith. it? Lilith. Lilith. Lilith um, That's it. Yes. What's her the last, last name? Was Sternin, which I would never have guessed in a million no, years, either. but yeah. Awesome, awesome characters being written into that show. Oh, my gosh. Please let me just finish the question. I know we're not going to have any problem with who was also known as Johnny Duke, Johnny Style, Johnny Cool, Johnny Midnight, and even Heavy Early. (laughs) Dr. Johnny Fever. Dr. Johnny Fever. (laughs) Heavy Early? Oh, man. Oh, that's so great. Howard Hessman. It's not Chai Chai Rodriguez, me. No. Less. <laughs> more, more music and less Nessman. Oh, Am God. I remembering correctly? Howard Hessman passed in January, it, I think. Yeah, just a few yeah. months ago. Yeah. 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 William Hurt passed away not long ago, too. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Which is a huge loss. Yep. Absolutely. Uh, professors, in what comic strip would you find Dr. Hump, Dr. Plain? Dr. Clipoff. Ouch. Sounds like the religious studies office, Jim. Oh. <laughs> Sounds what, painful. What yes. were the doctor names again? Dr. Hump, Dr. Plain, and Dr. Clipoff. 
I mean, it's pretty much punny there, so you can narrow it down. Is it, kind of, is it kid? Is it a kid's comic? It isn't. It's uh, it as much as you can say. We have a comic strip that's for adults. These are um, villains, very colorful villains. In Dilbert, Doonesbury. It's not Batman. Nope. Calvin and Hobbes. Nope. Nope. I'm out. I'm thinking what, like Brenda Starr, somebody, something like a, a little Dick bit more Tracy serious, kind of. Dick Tracy, Tracy. man. Dick oh, Tracy. There you go. Yes. Oh, no kidding. <laughs> there you go. Mm-hmm. Kind of like it is. Doctor so. Plain. It's just sort of like okay, you know. Doctor Hump likes vanilla ice cream. I don't know. You know. It's only good What's... on Wednesdays. Oh. <laughs> What's the name of the uh, the folks that recorded the song Doctor Doctor in 1984? Oh, um, it's a trio. Um, a oh, it's curry, like uh, uh, not Thompson Twins, but Flock of Hairdos. Yeah, okay. yeah. Yeah. Oh, it is Thompson, Thompson okay, Twins. Yeah. yeah. Okay, it's really just shameful that I <laughs> guess that the name of the given song? my opinion of the music, but Doctor Doctor, it's called. So the Thompson Twins did that. Yep. <laughs> but so there's another song. It may not be titled Doctor Doctor, but it's more from like the seventies rock. Yeah, I know who you, I know Doctor what Doctor, 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 Doctor Doctor. Give me the blues. Yeah. 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 Who, who was that? Yeah, that's the song um, I thought you were. Yeah. It's one of my all time favorites. So it's Robert Palmer. Or I'm um, sorry, no, it's um Plant? Robert Plant? No. Um uh oh uh, Palmer. We've gotten in the way. Uh, uh, oh memories. great. We 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 just ran down the rabbit I hole. We can't extricate ourselves. Yeah, it's Robert, it's, it is Robert Palmer. Yeah. Okay. okay. Love Bad that case song. of loving you, blah, blah, yes. blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So good to dance to. So and now to I want to look up. Have really loud when you're driving. <laughs> <laughs> Professor's another fictional doc. Um, this fictional doc is someone who lives at 177A Bleecker Street in New York. Oh, um, Dr. Strange. That's Dr. Strange, Dr. Stephen oh. Strange. And actually, oh, it is. It's we're using our made-up building. names. I'm Spider-Man. Oh. <laughs> no, you know, there's an actual, there's an actual building there. I think it's a fruit market. That's right. That's right. There actually is something yeah. there. Mm-hmm. I think that if I remember correctly from the history from uh, of the beginning of Marvel Comics and all that, they did that on purpose. So if you went there, they could say, "Oh no, you can't see." The sanctum, it's like <laughs> magically hidden from view. It just looks like a bodega, you know. But by wire bananas, two for a dollar. So I yeah. mean <laughs> all right, one more, and it's a classic, gotta say, Uh-oh. especially in light of this uh speaking of the world of chronologically confused, these movies lately are giving new meaning to this whole um, what are they? We're not allowed to call it a reboot anymore. It's like a pre-boot, like you're actually going back and rewriting the sequels. What's the name of the doctor played by Donald Pleasance in the original Halloween series? Oh, um, oh, geez. Man, this is in your wheelhouse. It God. is. And I've never Mine even seen too. all of them. Mine too. Um, Loomis. Dr. Dr. Loomis. Loomis. Mm-hmm. Yes, Dr. Samuel Loomis. I must yeah. find him. As if Dr. Loomis could have stopped some giant I, seven foot tall hulking shape, you know? I don't even before. remember. I don't even remember the name being mentioned. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I absolutely. God, it's been so yeah. long. I mean, it's... Mm-hmm. I just can't get over the fact that they they did this pre-boot and then, oh, please don't do this to me. Uh, it really uh, gets on my anxiety to name the movie Halloween. So Halloween 2021 or whatever, right? Because they can't give it a different name. And then they're going to keep doing that in this new side series, Uh. which completely ignores all the sequels. Not that everything in the universe has to be that orderly for me, but I just find it annoying. You know, I just, I just find it annoying that there's, you know, come on, come up with something original again. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, um, I don't mean to be, you know, rude to my elders, but Jamie Lee Curtis is not going to be around forever. So if you bring in her back, you better, Get her on board and finish the trilogy. Oh, have you seen what she looks like in her latest movie? No. Um, she's starring in some movie with Michelle Yeoh. Oh, okay. And oh. the you know, I guess people are asking, are you wearing a prosthetic, a, a prosthetic suit? And she isn't. Oh my. You know, she's you know, she's got some of you know the 67, you know, she's a little chunkier than she used to be. And Not, she's just she not a good care. question to ask yeah, anybody. She, yeah, you it's know? like are you, you wearing a prosthetic suit? Yeah, that's oh, 
not a good she place was really to start. good in knives out i thought oh that yes, movie is was. spectacular by the way should see a preview in the next couple months beth for the sequel where really it's not a sequel it's just they're going to use the daniel craig character to solve another mystery so i'm really looking forward to that the kenneth Branagh death on the nile it was great too i haven't seen it's that on yet. hbo max and drew and okay. i watched it and really liked it i think he's getting poirot pretty that's well. awesome He's not going to get selected for an Academy Award, is he? Boy, oh. Power of the Dog sure no got comment. snubbed. Man. <laughs> yeah, it did, didn't it? Didn't it? No, hey, Joe, professors. Jane Campion won. She won an Oscar. Oh, that's for, right. She won Best screenplay. Director. Director. That, director. Yeah. director, yeah. yeah. Uh, that shifted in the last couple of months before I think people wanted a feel-good movie. And they right. certainly voted for one. Yeah, that's right. Um, uh, professors, um, we're very thankful for this group of questions from Julie Elder, but I'm afraid the time has come for us to say goodbye. Jim. Goodbye. Stephen. Goodbye. Dave. See ya. Beth. Goodbye. And Dan. Goodbye. And now these words from University of Detroit Mercy. Ask the Professor is transcribed in, you know, all of our homes, but usually it's in the Briggs Building in the Department of Communication Studies in the College of Liberal Arts and Education at University of Detroit Mercy's McNichols campus. As the Professor is produced and technically directed by Michael Jason and Brian Masonville, and our executive producer is Professor Jason Roach. Until next week, I'm your host, Matt Mayo.